Hello, hello, hello. It's Alex Odepal, principal at Columbia River High School. This is a brief and a preview session for those who are seeking information and want just some uh, some clarity around how things are going to fit together as we get ready to come back and work together on August 24th. So welcome. Welcome to my home. I am uh, coming at you on August 18th. It's uh, 6.45 in the evening. I wanted to get something out to you so that there's some clarity around information that you have access to right now so that if you have a need uh, to calendar, so you have a need to set yourself up, that you have a need to apply what you've been learning in our uh, communities of practice, getting ready for PLC work, whatever you need, the intent of this short video is to share with you, we got you, and we got some information that we're fired up to share. I just published our Canvas course for our faculty. So you now have access um, to, I think, you have access to um, the way I've set up our Canvas landing page for faculty. Um, I'm going to be working with Michael Hornback to make sure this is all accessible to you. But you can see that I've set this up in a way that um, fits the domains of leadership from our partners with AVID. So systems, leadership, instruction, and culture are the, the, the four pillars uh, of what we're trying to accomplish with students and pushing students forward, uh, pushing students in and setting students up for success, setting faculty up for success as well. So you can see uh, we have our school improvement plan link, we have our systems link, we have our leadership link. This has um, some of our links to the agendas for the 24th and 25th, the draft of our slide decks, um, effective practices plan. We're going to spend quite a bit of time on this on the 24th and the 25th. Um, our character strong, there's a link um, in a set of just documents and um, uh, uh, opportunities for you to uh, take a peek at what we're going to do with the work in character strong, supporting social emotional learning. This is a district mandate, and we have a, a, a really good plan for sharing this information out with students, working with students and building relational capacity, getting students the support that they need, getting teachers the support that they need in effective classroom practices. So we got some great stuff in the queue for you. Again, here is an opportunity for you to preview that. One of the other things that you've seen, many of you have linked into this and have seen our draft of our agenda for our course, the 24th and 25th, and then we'll follow up with our October 14th training for TRI, our professional learning days, our traditional back to school teacher, uh, teacher prep days. So that's all accessible to you. We have made some adjustments. And so keep your eye on this because things may move around based on um, what we anticipate uh, needing more time or less time for. We want to ensure that there's a steady stream of information, but there's also uh, uh, opportunities for you to reflect, connect, and um, an important port, uh, part will be our building of relational capacity among staff. We have some new members of our community that are uh, that I feel very lucky to have uh, been a part of bringing them aboard uh, to Columbia River and super fired up about um, just supporting all of you in subsequently supporting students in our community. So the agenda is there. Again, subject to change. We've uh, linked a couple of things. So you can see, you can get a preview of the slide deck if you like. Um, some of these documents you might take a look at and think, okay, this is a lot. It is. And some of these documents you might think, Okay, they're gonna they're gonna guide me through what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna go ahead and roll with it. And that's um, all I'm asking. So give us a chance um, to learn with you side by side. So back at the top, I showed you um, our Canvas page. I shared with you the agenda for the 24th, 25th. I uh, two other things I want to share with you is um, one, the text belonging to uh, excuse me, belonging through a culture of dignity. Um, we are going to reference this text throughout the school year. So um, there are eight chapters. We're going to spend um, about uh, eight, seven months uh, working with this text. And the idea is that we are going to we're, we're in this for the long haul when it comes to building and sustaining a culture of belonging, um, when it comes to um, systems that support 
equity of access, systems that support a sense of belonging for students and for staff, uh, all members of our community. So this is a process of implementation. And so um, we may, uh, we'll take chunks on the 24th and 25th of the text, but I don't want you to worry about if you have not picked up the text since June, or if you do have no idea what I'm talking about right now, that's perfectly fine. We'll get you. <clears throat> we will get you there. So last thing, um, and I see that some staff have um, accessed this, and I'm really pleased about that because this is our collaboration calendar. And what I've attempted to do here is create an opportunity for us to look at all the different meetings, all the different days, all the different schedules, and put it into one place so that you can better plan, you can better know what's expected. We know that we get better lift when people have consistency and have clarity about what we're doing. So this is a preview. We were going to review this on the 24th in the morning, and then throughout the entire school year, my hope is that we can continue to build this together. There are several staff that have access to this document. Um, it seems to be working so uh, so far. So two things I want to highlight immediately when we look at this. You can see that Mondays on this schedule, you can see that Mondays are spoken for in terms of our effort for continued rapid response intervention. So that continues as an academic multi-tiered system of support. The new nuance that I'm very thrilled about is the effort on every Friday we will make towards building a sense of community and building a sense of culture and belonging. So each Friday we will host a visit from Tyler Monk as a uh, guest, we've uh, funded that through our equity ESSER funds. So Tyler will come and work with our students, he will work with our staff. Um, so it's an ongoing consultancy. That's one component. Another component will be our standard Friday pep assembly, our standard Friday homecoming court introduction, our standard Friday um, uh, club and activity sign up, our standard Friday um, panorama quiz or panorama survey. Those types of things will all land on a Friday assembly schedule, every Friday assembly schedule. Where we are going to get more lift is the consistency of that schedule. And our final component of that is the character strong training. So the character strong training will be a Zoom on the 24th for two hours in the afternoon. Um, we have several staff members that experienced some character strong training recently. We have an opportunity to activate the leadership of our link crew, ASB uh, leadership, the students that have voluntarily taken on leadership roles in our school, partner those students up with classroom teachers. And every Friday, we work through some sort of social emotional learning activity. The character training, character strong training is all set to go, 25 lessons per grade level. So that's all set to go. The intent is this is low burden on the faculty and high results, high relational capacity building uh, for all who experience the opportunity to provide uh, character strong and to, uh, add that social emotional learning uh, to what is wonderful that we already do. And that's the high academic expectations. That's the support for all students. And that's the opportunity to work with each of you. So that's all for tonight. It's 655. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I'm excited to work with you. I'm excited for our new staff to be welcomed by our veteran staff. Um, we're getting close with construction. Um, we're looking at November now, November 1st, for opening up that 800 wing. Um, and uh, it is going to be an amazing year. Happy 60th birthday to Columbia River High School. And uh, with that, I'm going to uh, uh, thrilled to see all of you in the morning on the 24th at Columbia River High School. We'll have some breakfast together, breakfast burritos, fruit platter, coffee, tea, juice. You can have all three. And uh, we're excited to be back with friends and uh, getting the good work done. Thanks, everyone.